how to vlog this. Are you ready for the video? 25 days of Christmas. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Please and thank you. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm back with another cooking video. This one is going to be quite quick. And today I will be making a two ingredient homemade ice cream. And for my add-in, we're going to be adding in Oreos, of course. So guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn your post notifications. That way you know if I want to post. Comment down below if y'all like to see more videos like this. And stay tuned for the rest of this video. I'm about to wash my hands. And get started okay I've just washed my hands now the first step is to do is to this is two cups of heavy whipping cream which is a pint okay now we're gonna pour this into the thing let's speed this up some okay now we're going to pour in all of our heavy cream All right, now for this step, I don't think this can get all the way down, so we're gonna take this hand mixer off. Oh, I don't wanna cooperate with you, nope. Let's see, let's just try it out. And we're going to mix it to the start to soft peach. Okay, I had to take it off because it wasn't doing nothing. And we just mix it until we see soft peach form, which means it's starting to get whipped, but not all the way firm. And this is roughly about three minutes. Okay, now that we got our soft peak whipped cream, I went ahead and opened up this condensed milk. Now we are to pour it in. Okay, now that we have our milk, our milk in, we're going to whisk again until it's firm stiffly.
Okay, guys. Our ice cream base is made. Next, we're going to add in a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now, this step is optional. You don't have to. But we're going to. Whoa, your girl done made a mess, but hey, you know what, we'll clean it up later. Ugh, that gonna taste disgusting. All right, let's fold in our... Fold in our vanilla extract. This is a lot, but... It'll be all right. Let's see how it tastes. Tastes all right, but I think I should whisk it a little bit more. Mm. But it does taste exactly like ice cream. is getting on my nerves. All right, now that we got that part whisked up a little bit more, next step, last step is to add in some Oreos. Now, this step is optional. You can leave it just like this, or you can decide to um put in any kind of flavor that you like. We're just going to do it like this. The lazy way, because ain't nobody got time to, you know. And you can add as many Oreos as you like. Okay, our ice cream is done. Now we're just going to fold in these pieces of Oreos. And then we're going to put them in the... All right, we might need a little bit more Oreos.
Okay, we have one ice cream container all done. We're gonna add a little crushed cookies on the top. And there we got one. And then we have another one. This is something easy, quick. If you're ever in the mood for ice cream, you can always throw in your favorite fixings. This takes approximately 20 minutes to prepare and six hours. If you put it in like a deep freezer or something, take like four to six hours to set. And then you got some homemade ice cream. Like this is very fun and easy to do once I've, you know, figured out the stuff the right way. But yeah, it tastes exactly like vanilla ice cream. If you don't like all the sweetness, just add vanilla ice, vanilla um, bean, vanilla bean extract, or even a whole vanilla bean speck. Mmm. This is gonna taste so good. And there we have our other one. So let's move this out the way because it's dirty. So here is our two. 32 ounce containers full of cookies and cream ice cream. Now we're gonna put these in the freezer for six hours and come back and we're gonna see how it tastes. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so now it's time to taste this ice cream and my niece is gonna be my participant and she's gonna tell me how it tastes. First off, look at the way it looks. It looks delish, all right. And this, mind you, this is Oreo homemade ice cream. It's cold, but it's really good. Okay. If I was to rate it out of 10, it's a 12. It is really good. It tastes like the, um, you know, the, the blueberry ice cream from the store. That is, that's what it tastes like. Okay. So there we have a good 10 for this. All right, guys. So we're going to end this video here. Hope you guys like this. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications. Hit that bell. Comment down below if you like to see more videos like this. Where I'm taste testing the food because that's my favorite part. And until next time, we out of here. Peace. Peace.